Hey guys, today we're gonna cook some pork tenderloin, but we're also gonna review the Euphora Wireless Smart Thermometer. I did an unboxing video earlier. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I like the, I've downloaded the app. I like the app. The app looks really nice. Um, now let's cook these pork tenderloins Let's see how the, when the rubber hits the road, how's the probe going to do? All right, let's get to it. All right, y'all, I was thinking about doing a, a fancy cook, like another braided pork tenderloin, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two tenderloins that I have. I don't know who pissed off little G, but she about there raising sand. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm trim them up a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. This will just be some, some cook's treats. She might even share them with Emily and G. I just wanna clean them up a little bit. Don't have a lot of bad skin on there. No silver skin to speak of. Let's go ahead and clear that off. All right. So I got them basically cleaned up pretty decent. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse my hands off and I'm gonna put some gloves on because I gotta put some butt rub on these things. We'll be right back. All right, I wanna season these up really good with butt rub. And when we're cooking, once we get to cooking, I'm gonna put this on there with about 10, 20 minutes to go. But what I wanna do right now is just throw these in this aluminum pan and get me some butt rub cranking. Lots of butt rub. And we're going to do kind of a quicker cook. Um, and we'll run the grill up to about 300. Normally I'll do these about 250. But you can do them faster. And uh, it, you, you don't sacrifice anything. We are going to use that Euflora temp probe, and we're going to we're going to put it through its paces. Now we've used other temp probes. I've reviewed other temp probes, and I'm going to be 100% honest with all y'all as far as how I think this one's going to do, or how it, I think it does. All right now we got to take my little chef's bonus. I'm going to cover it up because I'm going to be eating this while the rest of that is cooking. Yeah, I'm using my dirty hands again. That's all right. We're going to wash this off. <clears throat> all right, so there we go. I got everything all seasoned up. And as soon as the grill gets hot, we're going to put them on. All right, we're at 300 degrees on the big green egg. Let's put our pork loins on the grill. Put her little chef's treats on the grill because I'm going to be munching on them. Okay, and now today the star of the show is not really the pork loins, or the tenderloins rather. The star of the show is this. It's the Euflora Wireless Smart Temperature Probe. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take it and stick it in this one. I'm gonna stick it right in here at the, the fattest part. And basically I am doing a, a video where I'm cooking pork tenderloin, right? But also this is a review of the Euflora. The Euflora folks asked me to do a review of it and let y'all know what I think. All right, so right now this is what we've got with it. All right, I've got it set for 160 degrees, okay, and the internal temperature is 78 the ambient temperature is 86 now obviously that's going to come up i'm going to use the app on my phone to do a, a graph a temperature graph and i'll do my best to show y'all how it is now we do have to keep this thing um within about 10 or 15 feet of the grill this being a ceramic grill it wants me to keep it within five so i've used some other ones 
and I'm going to compare this directly to them and we'll talk about that later in the video. But right now I'm just going to set this right here on the table. All right, now I'm going to close the lid down. We're going to let these things cook and then I'll get back to y'all in a little bit because I want to check range and everything on this. So let's put it through the paces. Okay, so this is what we got. My target is 159, ambient is 95, and internal temperature is 80. And this, this app is really cool so far. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. This thing's supposed to have 800 feet of range. So I'm gonna walk until we lose contact with it. All right, so there's my grill way back over there. So we're just gonna walk out, walk out to the road. If it's like the other ones that I have, uh, there's G and there's Emily, they're just doing their thing. If it's like the other ones I have, it's gonna let me know when it loses contact. All right, so linearly, um, it might be good for 800 feet, but um, using it around my house, it does just like some of the other ones that I've done. So we're gonna walk back to the grill, give y'all a little tour here. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, if you put a whole bunch of stuff in the way of the signal, it, it's not gonna work. But if you got like a wide open area, it'll work great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through that a couple of more times. But let's see, here we go. I told you we're gonna do 300, we're doing 300. So let's get back to the cook and we'll talk about this some more. All right, there we go. See, we block some of the sun. All right, so we're at 96 internal, 123 ambient. So that's at great level. And our dome temperature is 300. So let's keep this thing rocking and rolling. Okay, so this is where we are. I got the temperature for the internal set at 159. All right, so the current internal temperature of the the meat, as you can see, is 150. That's up here at the top. Now it's telling me that the ambient is 170. All right. It could be because of the way I've got the probe positioned in the meat, but I do have another um, wireless probe and it's telling me that that temperature is 230 degrees. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna rule that out yet. Now I see that it's coming up. I did adjust the probe because I had it shoved pretty far into the meat. So let's see. So far, I don't see any issues with this at all. And for the the money, so far this is looking like a really great value. Um, you could get meter, Thermapro, Thermaworks. Those are all a lot more expensive than this one. And now they do different things. And like but for for the money i think this is so far it's looking like a pretty good value and the internal temperature is tracking with the other one that i'm using i'm not going to name the brand of that one because i'm doing this for euflora but i did want to have something also have another uh, stick thermometer i'm going to stick in there to verify everything one more thing to mention is i did not calibrate this this is straight from the from the factory the temperature calibration now there's nothing i can do about it but i can learn where it's at and what i'm seeing from the internal temperature it's it's pretty well dead on the money anyway um you know this is a review and a cook so i just want to keep throwing stuff out there as i find it um as far as range goes uh the range on it, I've tested it out a few times during this cook, and it's just like any other one that I have. Uh, we have a ranch style house, and if I get on the other side of the house, I don't have a signal. But if I have line of sight, I got signal all day long. And from looking at this, we only got a few more minutes, and these tenderloins gonna be done. Okay, we're still rolling at 300 degrees. Both of my temperature indicators are telling me that it's time to put sauce on these. So I'm gonna sauce them up. Brush it around. Get 
saw something a little chef delights here because they're done. I'm just going to take them on off and eat them. All right, so I'm going to shut it back down. About three minutes. Then I'm going to flip them, re-sauce them, then we're going to eat them. So far, the, the Euflora wireless smart thermometer is a good value so far. So far, it's looking really good. All right. About a couple minutes. Let's flip them. Let's sauce up this other side. Brush it in. All right, we're gonna be eating in a minute. Okay, let's get these tenderloins off the grill. We can take a taste of them. Don't they look good? That's our sauce. All right, let these, let's get these over here and let them cool for a minute. And we'll try to get us a taste before the flies carry them off. All right. So I want to take a taste of these tenderloins. Then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the, the temperature probe. But first things first, we got to see how this thing tastes. Mm -mm -mm. Ma'am. One sixty, perfect, right on the number. All right, let me get these things in the house real quick, so that the flies don't haul them off. And I'll be right back, and we're gonna talk about that temperature probe. Okay, so Stefan asked me to give an honest review of the Euflora um, wireless smart thermometer, and I'm gonna give you an honest, straight up review. Um, I like it. Um, there are a couple things that the app could use that some of the other ones have, but for for the price You can't beat it if I was going out to just buy a wireless probe That was gonna have reasonable range Yes, I would get the Euflora in a heartbeat um, I don't see any drawbacks to it uh, The only thing I didn't do and I'll, I'll do that at some point. I'll follow up on this video is I didn't zero it. In other words, stick it in 32 degree water and then stick it in boiling water just to see you know, how the temperatures lined up. But you can use Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, it does have a bunch of different options. It has more pre-programmed meat options than any other uh, wireless temperature probe I've run across by far by far you don't have to look up anything it's got well hold on okay um it's got beef veal turkey mutton pork fresh fish hamburgers and and anything else that you want to put in there that you want to cook and it's got the recommended settings you can change them easily you can um change them using the app on your phone it's simple to change uh, matter of fact, I did with these pork tenderloins. Uh, I wanted them to come off at 160, and the default was I had 140, and then I had 170, and I just adjusted it to 160. So it is a really good value. They're less expensive than any other one on the market. Now, I'll have to get back and do another review later on to let you know how long the batteries hold up. The batteries are supposed to last on the probe 24 hours. If that works, then that's longer than any other probe that I've ever tried. So I will be doing a Boston butt here within the next couple of weeks. And so I will do another review on the length of time. But for right now, man, I think it was $89 on Amazon. How are you going to beat that? Anyway, I will put the recipe for what I did down in the description. 
I'm also going to put a link to Amazon so you can find the Euflora wireless smart thermometer and it'll take you straight to it. And you know, if you decide you want to get it, use that link and you'll be doing a little bit to help the channel. And let's see, what else did we leave out? Yeah, we got the dogs racing around the backyard playing. Yeah, I think that covers it. So we did a review on the uh, Euflora wireless smart thermometer, and it worked great. I told you guys that. I don't need to rehash that. Um, I did cook two awesome pork tenderloins. I'll put the recipe for those down in the description. And until next time I see you guys at the grill, keep on grilling.